It's a busy Saturday morning in downtown Superior, a buzz with energy and alive with excitement. Welcome to Superior's Farm to Fantastic Farmer's Market. This farmer's market was developed so that we could focus on, on local produce. So anything that's homemade or produced um, locally, whether it's here in Superior or in surrounding communities, there's cookies and breads and soaps and custom-made artwork. As a rural entity, we are pretty progressive and we're doing a lot of good things. So we're kind of a model for what other communities could do. And community is the key ingredient. It's a community bakery, you know, I bake for this community. Bird Archer and Mary Carlin run Brickhouse Bakers. Their mission is to make healthy breads. We don't bake sweets. We don't have any sugar in any of our products. Healthy is another ingredient the various vendors add and shoppers look for. I love to grow good food and share it. You know, that's a big, I love, I love having vegetables and the eggs and things to share with the community. If you want to eat local, you've got to support the people that are growing. And it's better for our health and it saves money. It's a small town, so it's social. So besides the benefit of getting the vegetables, you know, I can, in one place, I can see my friends. A community's bounty, just a short road trip away. The Superior Farmer's Market is every Saturday from September through May. It is just one of dozens of popular community events throughout the year. The beauty of our small town is the mountains and the desert, and so we really try to hone in on that and have people come and enjoy being outside a lot. And the town takes full advantage of their great outdoors with hikes, parades, art festivals, even an annual borough run. One of our biggest events, um, it's a three-day event, the Patchy Leap Mining Festival. And for the mining festival, we have a carnival and we have a mining competition where a group of miners competes for prize money. And they have to drill and saw and muck and do things that they would do underground in the mines. And so that's a really fun event that people enjoy watching. Festivals that celebrate Superior's heritage and the Sonoran Desert. We also have the Prickly Pear Festival, which is just celebrating that desert. And again, we have the vendors, but everyone centers their cuisine around Prickly Pear. So we have Prickly Pear margaritas, um, Prickly Pear salsa, Prickly Pear, um, you know, on with your as a side for your hamburger. So everyone gets on, in on the Prickly Pear, Prickly Pear ice cream. Make sure to check out their full list of upcoming festivals by heading to the Chamber of Commerce website. Boyce Thompson Arboretum is about to celebrate a huge milestone, their 100th anniversary. Mr. William Boyce Thompson founded the Arboretum in 1924. He felt that desert plants were often overlooked and that all plants were very important to our well-being. In the last hundred years, we've been building collections of desert plants from around the world. So now we have 4,025 different species and over 30,000 plants. And about 30% of those are endangered or rare. So we are in the business of conservation. This fall, the Arboretum is kicking off months-long celebrations, starting with a sustainable green gala. We're also doing a 100 tree spree. We're offering trees, the native trees, to the Copper Corridor communities to plant. Um, and we will come and plant those trees. We will uh, make sure that people know how to take care of them. They'll host several art exhibits that'll show how the gardens have changed and thrived over the last century, as well as a special hedgehog cactus exhibit. Mr. Boyce Thompson actually discovered a hedgehog cactus here, so we have the Echinocereus Boyce Thompson eye hedgehog. It's its own species. It is sure to be the celebration of the century.